So we said. So if you want to take a seat here. <laughs> no, also, uh, also yeah, all, all the brands are uh, <laughs> group ordinary. Our partner. Right. What is it? So we can uh, open it up to all of you, and we have about uh, 20, maybe 30 minutes all together. Okay. Okay. Why you introduce us ourselves? Yeah, we yeah. can start. He's our president of the group. We are Miami, Miami Motor, Motor Media. Media. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, is the time is very short, I guess. Let's, let's start with the question. Uh, okay. Absolutely. I am from Palm Beach, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's the guy who's in vacation. <laughs> no, we have, uh, the, the production until the end of production is sold out. This is true uh, for the uh, Huracan uh, and for the Urus. Uh, but it's clear that we are working a lot on uh, what is coming next, uh, both. Uh, uh, here in, in the markets, but also back in, uh, in Santa Cata, Bolognese. So uh, the next couple of years are very important for Lamborghini because we are changing from internal combustion engine cars to complete new cars, which uh, um, are going to be all hybrid starting from this year. The first one will be the Aventador follower. So this is uh, something uh, very important for us because all in all, and the promise to the customers is that we are uh, going to reduce the emissions uh, but on the, the CO2 emissions, and at the same time, we are improving the performance. So this is uh, key. And uh, um, last year, we had a record year in terms of deliveries to customers. So 9,233 cars. The US is by far the biggest market. By far, China is the second. Then we have the German market, then comes uh, the UK, uh, then between uh, um, Italy and the, the Middle East is, uh, is always a battle. And these are the, let's say, no, Japan is the fifth, sorry, I forgot Japan. And then it's uh, yeah, Middle East and, and Italy. Uh, so we are also very well distributed in the, in the major regions of the world. Now we are uh, always looking to have a balance between uh, the Americas, um, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, and then the Asia Pacific region. So we try to stay on one third, one third, and one third. Um, this year started uh, uh, in the best possible way because we are celebrating our 60th anniversary this year. So it's 60. an important 60, say 60 years. Yes. It's an important year for uh, Lamborghini. Complimenting. Uh, that means uh, the new engines are gonna have more production when you finish this transition, or we are still having hey, the same problem for the future. I don't know. For, for us, it's not about volumes. It's for sure it's about profitability. And the profitability for us is important, not only because uh, it's important to be uh, you know, solid as a company, but because we always have to reinvest in the future of the company. So technology is moving fast, electrification, digitalization, um, and uh, uh, all is uh, also the resources, material cost is rising. We are always, or we are working there, or we start to work there where the others stop working because we always have to deliver not mobility, but dreams. So, mm -hmm. And we have to continue to be uh, a dream for many and uh, the reality for few. This is uh, what we have to do. So when, even if the things are going well, we are not running for peaks. We want to have a controlled uh, uh, growth of, of our company and in terms of sales is the same. Because one thing is to sell the car. So the, the biggest issue for us is, is the task is to develop, to produce, 
and to sell the cars. But after that, the, the, the customer enters into a club, the, you know? And then it's very important to have a good relationship, to have a lot of events with the cars, but also without the cars. And an opening is just a, a small example. So the connection and the, all what money can't buy is uh, uh, paramount, uh, uh, let's say, for the loyalty of our customers to us. And we all, uh, always have to deliver new uh, ideas and uh, things which are um, very attractive uh, for them. Our group is Hispanic group. How important for Lamborghini is the Hispanic? And you mean Latin America? Yeah. Or US Hispanic. Uh, US Hispanic, yeah. Ah, US Hispanic. US Hispanic is very important because uh, the, we have a lot of, uh, especially here in Florida, no? Uh, uh, we have a lot of, uh, um, let's say, Spanish speaking people. It's a very important crowd, but this is also the same in, in California where we have. Uh, uh, our most important market. So, uh, in general, the two coasts are the the the, uh, the most important uh, parts of the United States, and for sure, all the communities are equal to us. And uh, I don't know if you have something to add about uh, the South American. Yeah, oh, okay. About South America, we have four dealers in South America. We have two in Mexico, one in Peru, and one in Sao Paulo. Um, despite, let's say, the size of the market, we are growing fast. Um, and this is important because uh, um, we think that there are opportunities which uh, we might not know. It depends on um, legislation, it depends on, uh, on, uh, on um, taxation, uh, a lot of things, uh, why the market is limited, uh, sometimes also infrastructure, sometimes uh, uh, security. You know? mm -hmm. so these are things, a lot of also people which are used and coming from South America but live here, they have their cars they keep them. here, not they keep their cars. So these are things which Perfect question. Thank you. Uh, we drive cars every week, all kinds, that's our job. And everybody is going to electrification massively, every factory. For we, as that we have driven those cars, it's like driving from a propeller to a jet engine. That's the difference in performance. I know that Lamborghini always want to do the best car in the world. Are you thinking to make an electric car soon? Well, the, what we're doing the next couple of years is hybridization. So this will be um, the combination of the two. Yes. Uh, th th this will be more performance uh, and more sustainable. Let's say if you want to reduce Lamborghini or a super sports car company to a, a very few uh, details, it's about design and performance. Mm -hmm. Design is not an issue also in the future when you go full electric. We have an idea to go full electric with uh, a new car end of this decade. But um, the performance we, we divide in two. Um, the performance one is uh, the numbers. So acceleration, top speed, right. lap time, performance. Uh, braking uh, time, uh, all the things you, you can put together. And then there's another type of performance, which has to be blended into this performance, which is the emotion which this type of performance is giving you. They're very performing cars, but they're also very boring. And Lamborghini is never going to be like this. So Lamborghini has to be a top performer, for sure, because this is what uh, our business is about, but it also has to be very much giving you an emotional kick uh, and a wow effect which only uh, those type of cars are getting. And this we have to uh, to uh, put also into hybridization. And this is already done we, we, because we are testing the cars. We know what, what we are going to have. And we have to prove that also with full electrification, this could be. Um, we have time because this is happening end of this decade. And uh, therefore, uh, there is also in terms of technology, a lot moving in the next years. And uh, I think that uh, we will be successful also here. Okay, thank you. You talk about Latin America. A year ago, we talked about the, the expansion in Latin America with, you, with the inauguration of, of, of the, the dealer in, in Miami. Uh, any plans to be beyond Peru, Sao Paulo, Peru? So, uh, um, as you know, uh, apart from Mexico and Brazil and, and Peru, we have uh, no presence at the moment, but I can tell you that we are evaluating also Chile and the Caribbean as another interesting area, and we uh, got recently an application even from Argentina 
So clearly there is a demand for cars, uh, but like Mr. Vintima said, then we need to consider all the complexity of uh, uh, importing uh, luxury cars in these cars in these kind of countries. Taxes uh, could be in Argentina a uh, constraint, uh, and uh, in Chile is the dimension of the market that is mainly concentrated in a single city, and the Caribbean is the complexity of the logistics because there, there is the need of cars more or less everywhere in Panama, in, uh, in Nicaragua, in, uh, in, uh, in the Dominican Republic. We have cars already there because there's a lot of import. Uh, so we, we feel the urgency to go there and uh, be able also to serve the customers. Uh, but we want to have also a sustainable business case for the dealers because we are in fact very demanding of what uh, requires to be a dealer. And you can see the facilities here today and understand also what is behind if you look at the after sales center or if you look at the number of people that works here and that needs to be trained, needs to be always uh, um, able to catch up with the uh, innovation and technologies that we make. And now moving into hybridization, so you can imagine what kind of revolution it is. So we, we require a lot from our partners and we're not going to compromise if we go into these countries in, uh, in uh, Center and South America. Well, you, you now you have the Sterato. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's a it's a, it's a little bit challenging this question, but it doesn't worry you that uh, you have fifty percent of your sales in one car, in one model. In order no, to no, because it's it's a it's the size of the segment which counts. No, it's not that we are pushing into it and we are neglecting the others. Um, we have. Uh, uh, a very balanced uh, uh, distribution also in the type of cars. It's clear that the Aventador and the fall of the Aventador are in a niche uh, market because we are speaking about uh, a price uh, sticker of uh, 500 plus thousand dollars. So uh, the air is thin, uh, even if it's a growing market, a small market. Then the Huracan, uh, in the super sports car business also here, we have uh, just a few brands which are able to, to deliver something like this. Uh, with the, the, the Urus, uh, we are in the SUV segment, which is the largest worldwide, not with our price point, because we were, let's say, opening you know, this super sports car SUV segment, sub-segment. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of uh, um, willingness to buy those type of cars, and uh, we don't see, uh, uh, let's say, a trend which is the declining. The, 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 the opposite is the case. This segment, will continue to grow also in the next years. So, and uh, now we are, let's say, uh, in, a, in a phase where we are, let's say, changing all the, all the lineup, and then back in, uh, in a couple of years, uh, all the others will be uh, much stronger than they are today because we are a bit uh, at the end of the life cycle. The Euros have four type of, uh, and the line, they have Euros uh, S, and performance. And performance, right? And uh, there are two, two, two only. Do you have, or the company have in mind, <laughs> to take another SUV more compact or less powered, maybe for? No, we are not uh, looking into a, a smaller car. If we want to look into a fourth model. This is our idea. Um, this will be then the first electric car. We are looking into what is a bit missing in our lineup. Um, which is a GT car. So, but we will have our own way of doing the GT car. So it will be uh, a car with it's a two plus two, no, two, uh, two doors and with more ground clearance. And it will be the first electric car. So the body style uh, will be uh, completely new, but the design has to be a one which is immediately recognizable as a Lamborghini. And this will be then in the sense, uh, it's not an SUV, but it's a car which is, has more ground clearance, so it's it's kind of um, giving you the opportunity to sit high, which is one of the, um, let's say, main triggers why the SUV market and the SUVs are so so strong all over the place, because the people you know, feel safe, uh, feel they have a, 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 a surround view. And, and exactly. And fast. <laughs> and fast. I love your centers. Uh, we provide deals, no mobility. I love that. But uh, what would be the, the the top number that you want to sell? Because you say uh, we don't. Well, it, it depends on how many how many models you have. This is one of the things. 
<coughs> and how many markets you are. And uh, there are more and more, if you compare the, the situation of today in comparison of to 10 years ago with the high net worth, uh, worth individuals, uh, the, the people have much more uh, money at their disposal already at young age, and they have much more of them. Yeah. But this said, uh, we always have to have a very controlled uh, growth. And uh, one of the triggers why uh, also small manufacturers have to look into uh, uh, by maintaining um, a certain number of cars sold is the fact that otherwise we cannot protect the two super sports cars. The two super sports cars are very expensive in development. They give a low volume, they need a long life cycle, but they also need to be uh, the best of the best. So it's important that uh, we continue to work like this. And Lamborghini, from the very beginning, was not only selling super sports cars. We had GT cars, was the first car, with cars like the Espada, the LM, but also the Urak. So it was not only a super sports car company. Now in the last, let's say, 30 years, starting from uh, the Diablo, no, and Murcielago, and then Aventador, and Gagliardo, and, and Huracan, yes, it was mainly super sports cars. With the Urus, we are getting also back to our tradition of doing a diversified portfolio, and we will continue to do so. Um, did you have a standby Russia until now? Or? Well, the Russian market, we, we stepped out. Um, I don't know if we will ever come back. The geopolitical situation has changed. It's something which is very difficult to predict, and uh, it's a pity. Uh, but this is the reality, and uh, yes, we are. We have distributed. The market was for us uh, around about 100 cars a year, uh, and uh, we had no problem in uh, let's say reallocating the cars to other markets. Thank you. When you were talking about the people with more money, you are not talking about journalists, right? Yeah, you never know. You're right. right. By, right. by the way, I no, love no, the, no. the campaign no. that you you did about the influencers yeah, the there in, in Italy. That was very nice. The video which oh. was a, a guy who parked the car in front of a perruquiere. It was a sí, sí, hairdresser. A I, I think it was an official yeah, uh, official campaign. Uh, we made so many. Uh, the, the, the oh yeah, no, the story of the ah the the, the kid. The, the the kid. Yeah, 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 yeah. This he was an influencer. He was yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, uh, my point is, who are you competing with in in the American market? You mean with uh, with, uh, with which brands? Oh, it's pretty easy, you know. Right. But the, the, the usual, the red one, uh, the, red one? the British one. Uh, right. I have to say, the, the <laughs> name. So red. Red. I suppose there are a crazy combination, no? You, mm. you, you have to think about a Lamborghini or a Rolls Royce, even. Yes, but you know, they, 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 in, term, in, in terms of price position, you're right. Um, but a lot of our customers, even. Uh, uh, he says, no, they, we, they are they, they are clear competitors. But a lot of our customers have. All of them. Okay. No, right. All the brands. Right. Because they use this one for something, they use right. the other one. For Thursday we have, a, we have a lot of people which are owning. Uh, yeah, we have an average of nine houses, exactly. uh, now cars in per household in, in our consumers. So. And they, it's probably less uh, polarized. It's not that they're really low volume with one brand. Most of the case, they really are, like you said, uh, they like different models. Or it also depends on the availability. Sometimes they need to wait for two, three years to get a Lamborghini. So meanwhile, they drive something else. Okay. Something looks interesting. <laughs> well, they need to compromise in that case. <laughs> so it's two to three years to get a Lambo? Well, uh, we are sold out until 2024. So oh it's, uh, well, it depends who you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did try my best. Oh no, there are pre-owned cars. Eh? So it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the access, the entry door for to a Lamborghini, or the possibility to get a certified pre-owned right. uh, Lamborghini is absolutely a possibility. And we we have a car park uh, that is allowing this. Of course, also in that case, uh, you need to be a little patient uh, and find the one that you like. Right. You cannot configure it, and so right. Right. you miss part of the uh, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. What about the Sterato? You presented the Sterato here. You didn't design 
Yeah, last, last, uh, it was October. Uh, December, 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 December. Right? Or Basel. Well, I was just Serato going. We are very happy about the Serato. It was, it's not a, it's not a surprise anymore. Yeah. And uh, we are limiting the production and therefore it will be soon sold out. Have a problem for race with that car? Some kind of race? No. No, it's not for a race, no, because it's it's not a real off-road car, it's right. a it's a non uh, <laughs> non uh, let's say asphalt uh, driver, no? So, non off-road. And, and you know <laughs> I, I was driving the car both off-road and uh, on the racetrack right. and the, the amazing thing is everybody is reflecting it off-road is a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun. Right. But also on the racetrack it's so cool and it's so fast and it's so right. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's really, yeah, it's really giving you a lot of uh, emotions. Uh, wow. I love the car. I love the car. That's cool. Okay. Any additional questions? No. no. Thank, well, you thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.